Hi everyone, it's me, Coffee Stitcher, and I just did like 10 minutes of this video not realizing I wasn't recording. All right, so how's everyone's week been? Uh, okay, so there was a glitch in last week's video, which is why it was not, why it was taken down. Um, so I'm gonna lump the Q&A and the haul in from last week into this one as well as do my April goals, but you'll also see some of the things I've worked on. Um, and I just realized one of those things is not in here, but that's okay. Um, all right, so diving right into the Q&A, so this video doesn't have to be too terribly long. Um, and any Q&A that was on the video before it got taken down last week is gonna be answered in this week's. So the first up, Linda Kleindienst asks, do you have an LNS near you or do you shop online? And I do a mix. I do have an LNS near me. It's the Stitch Niche in Arlington, Texas. Um, I go usually once a month or so. Um, I do shop online mostly for fabric or if there's a designer who doesn't sell in stores like Brooks Books or um, ones like that or where I can buy a pattern directly from the designer. But by and large, I do a good solid mixture of patterns and threads at my LNS and then mostly fabric and some patterns online. Um, Robin B asks, when you do your whips, do you have a set rotation or do you use a decision wheel? Um, I tried the decision wheel and it didn't work and I don't really specifically have a set rotation per se. Um, what I mostly do is I look at my goals for the month. I look current, this year I'm looking especially at the Magical Stitches um, homework assignments and seeing what fits there, what fits in with what I'm doing, and what I feel like working on at this moment in time. Uh, Christine at Every Stitch of Pleasure, in case you haven't already found it, it is on Al Forest Embroidery's website under Free Charts, and it's called Emerald City. Kelly Bell, um, you're going back a briefly to the week before's video about um, Longfellow. The I read the full poem, and it's actually about a father who doesn't get a lot of time with his children before they have to go to bed in the evening, and he gets home from work. So it's about how he cherishes them as their children, and he'll always keep those memories. So that's significantly less creepy. Um, Jasmine Ravenclaw, I can't really go into too many details, but I do back office operations for a small business, or for a small bank, community bank. NM Stitching Demon, thank you, I am adorable. Um, you notice, she says, I noticed you use plastic glad bags to store your projects. Have you ever thought of transitioning to actual project bags, or are the plastic bags just personal preference? Um, I prefer the plastic bags because they're cheaper, um, and they're durable. I mean, there's that too. Um, but largely it's because of the cost. Um, I can get 80 plastic bags for like four bucks, whereas a project bag is upwards of 15, um, which is nothing against it. I just don't want to spend my money on them. Um, if I got a project bag, I would not say no to it. Um, uh, but it, they aren't my main priority. Ivy Kruger has several questions. The first is, what do you do when you don't want to stitch? Do you have any methods in getting your stitching bug back? I don't tend to lose my bug all that often. When I do, it's usually only for a day or two. Um, usually because I've either had an epic finish, like last year after Seaside Kingdom, um, or it's because either something at work has happened and I'm exhausted or there's there's some specific instance that has worn me out um, or I'm not feeling well. So a lot of the times though, if I do notice it's been a couple of days and I'm just not feeling anything, that sometimes a new start works. Um, sometimes just kidding up a new start will work. Or I can always do the fruit basket turnover and pick out a new rotation. So I did try doing the stitch nine thing, and I don't think that's going to work so well for me after all. So we'll see. 
Um, and re in regards to Alpine Seasons, the Chatelaine that I'm planning to start, I will be doing DMC for the most part. Um, metallics will stay metallics, obviously. And then I'll do some of the fancy floss, but it's really going to depend on what it is and where it is. And if I think having the variegation is actually going to add to or not. Um, Aaron Mays, I saw your post on Mania, so you may already have your answers, but I'll still answer your question. Do I still bobinate my threads? The answer is yes. Um, however, if it is a, um, depending on the specific fabric, uh, floss, I may not. So what I do for my non-DMCs, DMC, it's just DMC and the color number. I abbreviate as best I can. So this is Gloriana 138, and that goes on the front of the bobbin. The back of the bobbin goes the color name. I do that because while a lot of charts will list by name and color number, sometimes they list by, or they list, they don't. So I'm covered on both cases. In the case of my Krennic, I'll write Krennic, the type it is, so in this case it's a number four, the color number, and then on the back goes the name. Because again, most Krennics get listed by their name and not so much by their number, but just in case I'm covered. And then in the case of general arts, classic color works, rainbow gallery, threads that can't be bobbinated because they're either pre-cut or they would be ridiculous to put on a bobbin, I use plastic snack baggies and I label them. I use a note card with um, the brand name and the color. And then on the back side of the note card is like, say I, I pulled a strand out of this and I only needed two strands or I pulled a plot. I only needed two of the strands instead of all six. Then what's left goes back here and the cut part. So if I only need like five stitches of the color, then what's remaining will go back there too. Um, all right. So now we'll do the questions that showed up on the video before it closed. Um, Christy Donay asks, do you like to chat while you stitch or do you prefer a cone of silence in which you focus? For instance, when you stitch at work, do you do it in a break room with coworkers or do you take it to your car? Well, I prefer to chat and stitch. Um, so I don't need a cone of silence. Every once in a while, if I've got, if I'm really wanting to focus, like I'm close to a finish, but if I get distracted at all, I won't make the finish that day. I'll put headphones in, but by and large, I just, I don't need a cone of silence. Um, Kimmy Sutton. Um... Oh, the Tammy dresses. I did not bring those in here. The Tammy dresses got finished and returned to me. Um, they look fabulous. I will try to remember to show them next week. Um, Nona Ellis, I do not work for Starbucks anymore. I haven't in almost four years. Um... Linda Kleindienst, uh, let's see, you asked, do I like heaven and earth designs? Will I ever stitch one? And the answer is no. I don't dislike them. I don't like full coverage charts. So while I've seen several that are really cool, um, I, uh, um, I won't be stitching one. Ah, um, He had to brush his teeth. Um, so no, I, I will not be stitching on. All right, so my haul. Um, there is some one little bit of fabric. Whoop. Hello, Mr. Honeyville. He's a good boy. Do you want to come sit in my lap and say hello to everyone? Come here. Whoa. 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 Say hello, Mr. Honeyville. Say hello. Say hi. Look over here. Look over here. There's, say hello, frost tubes. He says, hi, I want me to I do stuff. Yes, you do do stuff. And you smell good. You can tell your grandma's been loving up on you. Nope, you're going to sit. Okay. All right. Well, no, no, you're going to lay down. All right, that works too. So we have a Remy bear now. Hello. Yes. Um, 
Okay, so we'll do the haul. Um, there is a piece of fabric, but I'll show that to y'all when I get into my whips. Um, so, I got the next two charts in the Tiny Modernist. Parts two and parts three. That's upside down. Thank you for the kiss. Yes. Thank you for the kiss. I got my first long dog sampler, which is quilts, which I think may be a mania start. Um, and I'll probably do some different colors than what was called for. Yes, I, I see. Yes. Yes, my breast smells like coffee. But I just really liked this one. Um, it's different from all the rest of theirs. Um, so it's got all sorts of little houses and stars and it's done. It looks like primarily in autumn colors, but I will probably do some color swapping. And then this one from Lila's studio, which I hadn't seen before, even though it's been around since 2012. Um, and it's called With the Needle. Nope. There goes the remedy bear again. So it's a little hard to see from this. It's got an ocean, a farm, and then just a house, and it's got a saying. And I, I just, I really liked this one. I thought it was really cool. Um, so, I will definitely think that's going to be one of my mania starts, too. All right. So, we'll do our whip updates. Um, and we'll talk about, so I'll show you what I've worked on, and then I'll talk about the April goals in with that. <gasps> okay. So, um, last week I did finish up Chamber of Secrets. Or week before last, I guess I should say. Doop doop doo. Okay. So here is Chamber. Um, <laughs> silly went by, Wimmy Bale. I don't know. She may be under the bed. Phoebe may be under the bed. I don't know. Um, she likes to hang out there sometimes. So here's Chamber of Secrets. Um, Y'all saw where I had stopped last week. So I added Aragorg. The... It's kind of hard to tell, but there is a hole through the diary um, for the basilisk. Um, and it looks, it's all gross and such. When I do it down in the Horcrux section, it'll be newer looking. Um, I added the flu network, um, because flu powder is such an integral part, not such an integral part necessarily of that story, but of the rest of the world. Um, a mandrake and a polyjuice potion. And good old Draco. And then the Sword of Gryffindor and Fox. And Fox was by way of Y-Stitcher, by way of Jen Devonham. Um, so, and I used the Etoile threads for, for Fox. So, here we go. So, I finished Chamber of Secrets. Um, and then I worked some, and I'm back working on it again. It's my penalty stitches for this week's homework. I worked on um, Aurora. So here I am working my way. I'm trying to get 600 stitches done. So I'm really hoping I took a before picture, but I don't remember now. Hmm. So my goal this month is to get the center pattern done panel of her dress done. Um, and on Harry Potter, my goal is going to be Prisoner of Azkaban, which I still have to design or redesign and such. So here's Aurora. I, of course, worked on Woodland Fairy. So I finished out, there's like four stitches of this color, but Woodland Fairy is done with the this color. Um, this was my first project. It was the, or no, this was my project for number two, the Professor Snape, so it was a design I've changed. And I got two I got 278 stitches out of this. Um, so the remaining part 
came from Cheshire Moon, which I did just because I knew it was a one that I could get a quick 28 stitches out of. So I worked on that part of the tree. Woo! Um, so my goal on this month is going to be to do a page finish. Um, I think. No, a half page. So I just have to do a half page. So I'll do the tree in the house. Um, but it just wasn't calling to me yet. And I'm trying to be judicious and save the projects where I feel like I need to um they're probably going to come in handier elsewhere so i'm and it's early enough in the month that i'm okay with that and then i did for my 75 percent complete i had gotten 75 percent of the way through with um part one of emerald city from owl forest so here there it is in full this is the fabric i bought it's called um stardust it's from Stephanie. So there's part one, the cyclone. So there we have it. Um, I used caramel from uh, Classic Colorworks for the light color of the house. Um, I used Gold Star from Classic Colorworks for the yellow brick road. Um, I used Highlands from Color and Cotton for that cyclone. And then Azalea for the ruby slippers. Because while, yes, they're silver in the book, I still prefer ruby. So I had a lot of fun doing this one, and I'm really excited for part two, which comes out. It, they're coming out every three weeks. So that means... Oh, somebody lost a needle. Looks like it was you. Um, so that means that my uh, next part should be out, I think, Easter Sunday? So and we'll see what part two is. I don't know if it's going to be Munchkins. I don't know if it's going to be the Scarecrow. I don't know if it'll be the Witch of the North. We're just going to see. So, uh, so that's what I've worked on. So I'll show you what I'm going to work on the rest of this month, what my goals are. So, um, Sister Suffragette, my goal is one bunting. Um, and I've been working on that one at lunch, but I think what's probably going to happen because there's a whole lot of solid fill on Aurora is Aurora may end up going to lunch with me. But here is Nevermore from Prairie Schooler, and my goal is gonna be to finish up the house. So, house, that's where I'm at. So that's gonna be the goal for this month. Um, these are in no particular order. Sarah Davis. My goal, as usual, is going to be one row and one border. So that's where we're at there. Um, this time, I think we're going to get some metallic and maybe some yellow. Because we need some yellow for it to be Lisa Frank. Um, so, and that's my stitch along that I do with um, good old Trisha. All right. Okay, so Hufflepuff wreath. I actually pulled this out to start on it um, and discovered that I had accidentally stitched something wrong and I wasn't feeling like frogging. So I've got to ch fix these two leaves here before I can continue on. But here's my wreath and I'm gonna work on the area below the word Hufflepuff. And my goal on that is a page. So, but because I'm sure at some point we're going to have to do something maybe specific to a house this month, I was kind of holding off on that one. Let's see. Um, fairy tale, I'm, I've fallen behind a little bit. Um, so I need to get caught back up to it. But Rapunzel is here, and then the Frog Princess is there, so I need to get caught back up. Oh, there we go. Um, 
Um, Longfellow, my goal is going to be the... To finish this page, the center page, and then I've got the little bit along the bottom, so I need to do that too. But there we go. I still think I'm going to be able to finish this one this year. Um, maybe. But at my goal, I, I do really want to get this one finished this year. Um, Quaker Oz, the goal is going to be a half page. So I'll do what's technically page one, which is over here. So it'll finish out the Scarecrow's hat. Um, it has the tornado. It has a little more of the apple tree there at the top. There's a crow. Actually, it's got a huge chunk of the apple tree. Um, there's a flying monkey, Tin Man's heart, and something that I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be, but it's there too. So... Um, on my tiny, mer uh, on Mermaid Life from Tiny Modernist, my goal is another couple of the fish, the jellyfish, the starfish, and some seaweed. So I'm working on, here's where I'm at. It's on that side. So. And that's, as they say, is that. Like I said, I've got Sister Suffragette. Um, I'm doing one of the, I'm not really sure, the bunting is the middle part. I'm not really sure what the part that has the, the gathered and the streamers. I'm not sure what that's technically called. Um, it looks like, for those of us who grew up in Texas, looks like a mom. Um, but that's, that's not what it is. Um, I'm not really sure what it's called, but that's gonna be my goal. I've got the purple part of that done. Um, but like I said, I'm probably gonna pull that out of my work lunch bag and put Aurora in because... There's a lot of 603 all the way down. So once I, my goal today is going to be to get everything below the 603, and then I can just take that to work with me. Yeah. So anyhow, that's it for me this week. Um, I do apologize for last week's video issue, um, but we will see you all next week. Bye.